Good Monday morning, Shady Hills Elementary, and happy Monday, March 4th. It is Dr. Seuss week. Do you have a silly sock on to kick off our celebration and a love for reading? Are you going to wear your favorite hat tomorrow? We sure are. I have socks in my hand. Is that silly enough? You guys, there are just eight more school days until spring break. That means now it's time to work super hard and get those grades up by the end of this quarter. Make it count, you guys. We want to start today with two, again, announcements for the week ahead. What news does our Shady Hills family need to know this week, Vincent? Okay, our first announcement today is that besides it being Read Across America Week and having a fun dress-up week, we get to announce some trivia winners who knew that Dr. Seuss's real name is actually Theodore Geisel. Theodore Geisel. Maybe that's why he went by Dr. Seuss. Okay, great job to these following people. Lorelai Olfen Smith, Mason Mahoney, Mahoney, Brielle S., and Cayman Kotwitz. Come to Miss Allen's office today to get your prize. Okay, we have one student birthday today. Happy birthday to Stormy Hines. For lunch today, we have teriyaki chicken, and tomorrow we have something delicious. Sounds good. Anything else, Vincent? Well, yes, I'm so glad you asked, because isn't it bike drawing day for the winners of our Lexi competition over the last month. You guys, listen up. Don't you know that reading is so important that schools are willing to give away bikes just to get you to read? That's because those adults know how critical you being able to read means to your future. And guess what? All it takes is practice. That's right. From the minute you get to school in kindergarten to the minute you leave Shady Hills, you are learning how to read. Okay, besides the fact that you get smarter with every single word you read... (laughs) Let's tell them what else they win. And remember, hear me out, you guys. When the, when these names are read, you get a chance to be mad you didn't win or happy for the ones who do. It's okay to be mad, but it's also okay to be happy for your friends. Try it out. Okay, Miss Vigiano, welcome to the news. Will you do the honors of drawing the four lucky bike winners who get to celebrate today? Good morning, Shady Hills. Yes, I have lots of names to draw this morning. We have a bucket of primary students and a bucket for intermediate students and they are filled to the brim so congratulations to everybody who participated if you were in the top three each week we are so proud of you we definitely saw an increase in those students um, reading and completing lexia units so keep up the good work and now we are ready we are going to draw two primary names and two intermediate names if your name is called please come up to the front office for your bicycle All right, mix them up real good. All right, the first one we have here is Michael Hatfield. Come on up, Michael. And next we have, mix them up really good. Maybe get one from the bottom. All right. Next we have Leoni Huerta. So congratulations to Leoni and Michael for our primary bike winners. And now. Or the intermediate. Mix them up good. Look at all these names in here. All right. The first one I'm going to pull down here. Okay. Is, open it up, Ariana O'Donnell. Congratulations, Ariana. Come on up. And last but not least, mix them, mix them, mix them, mix them, mix them. Okay. (laughs) Finally, we have... Jimmy D'Alvia. So congratulations, Ariana and Jimmy. Come on up to the front office to get your bikes. Congratulations, everybody, for participating. Keep up the good work. We're going to hang on to these buckets and these names because you never know when we might pull another prize, another student for a prize. Congratulations. Wow, that's awesome, you guys. Make sure you tell those, those winners congratulations when you see them today. We sure will. Okay. I will, I think that's it for the today, you guys. So stand up, put your hand on your heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. And make this week count, Lions. We, we dare, dare ya. ya. I can't hold up numbers anymore.